is it worth doing the Course in Miracles, the 365 lessons, year after year? And um, I mean, uh, all right. Yes, it is. In fact, I encourage I encourage everyone to do the lessons for the rest of their life. They don't have to, but I, I would encourage it. Um, and uh, I did it for about, uh, I think, four to six years before I stopped doing it every day and started doing, was led um, to doing other stuff. I mean, often I'm, I'm doing intense stuff throughout the day. Uh, prayers and other practices um so uh it's fantastic it's uh and I, as i share with everyone um it doesn't you don't have to understand the course you know and uh, nearly everyone finds it sounds like gobbledygook doing the reading the lessons i don't recommend reading the text like hawkins um, in fact i'm not i'm I, I mean hawkins talks a lot about reading books but really for me i think if people are coming to my groups i think uh it's the next evolution forget reading books and start putting it into practice so uh enough enough reading books and just into action not into reading <laughs> yeah i know people are into reading the next book but i'm into find a few practices and just do them non-stop you know i'm not into like read a few more books um and um uh, unless it's Hawkins books, of course, um, which are at a thousand, so that's always useful. Um, but um, okay, so the, it, the the instructions I give when doing the lessons are: you don't have to understand it, you won't understand the lessons, but there is an instruction of what you have to do throughout the day. And it doesn't matter if you don't understand what you have to do. I mean, you, I mean, in the sense that you're given a sentence, you might have to repeat it, or you might have to try and meditate, uh, whatever it is. Uh, you just uh, do that to the very best of your ability. You don't have to understand it intellectually. So even if it says, my thoughts are meaningless, you go, what is that going on about? You know, my thoughts are meaningless or the book, everything in my room is meaningless. You, I mean, you haven't got a clue. What does that mean? I mean, uh, why would I even want, you know, you want to understand it. It's not about, um, don't worry about understanding it. Uh, it sounds bizarre. It sounds odd. You just do it, you know. Every, every five minutes you say, my thoughts are meaningless, just do that. You don't have to understand why. If you have to look around the room and say that your uh, your photo of your parents is meaningless and the, and the TV is equally meaningless, just do it. Uh, you don't have to understand. Uh, your ego will argue, no, my photo of my parents is not, my girlfriend is not meaningless, you know, uh, whatever it is. Uh, don't worry about arguing with the lesson, just do it. So that's my instruction. You don't have to understand it. You just do it. Uh, and things will be revealed later on after you've done them. You will get comp you'll comprehend it later on. Often I do lessons and not have a clue what it's talking about. And then several days later, I go, oh, yeah, it's kind of obvious now. It's revealed what was the meaning of that lesson. So uh, the first year I did it, uh, and I was committed to doing it because Hawkins revealed to me that he ran an attitudinal healing group and a course of miracles group, and um, and people with AIDS, uh, autoimmune disorders, all kinds of things, had miraculous recoveries. You know, the people who are beyond medical help, cancers, all got well uh, doing the course of miracles religiously. And um, so I said, okay, you know, I've got uh, 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 organ failure, kidney failure. I'm on a dialysis machine to keep me alive. Uh, I can't breathe. You know, I have to use a walking stick to walk. I'm going to do this religiously every year. And uh, if I, I haven't got anything to lose, I'm just going to die of my illnesses. So I might as well. I knew Hawkins was a teacher of the absolute truth. So I did it. And all my illnesses, like he said, all left within three to five years, just like he, he said with his own 27 illnesses, cancers and infections and all kinds of things. So just as he said, so I was willing to do it and it did take a few years to clear all my illnesses. Um, so um, people want to clear their illnesses with the course in three days. It's not going to be three days. Uh, I'm sorry, in my experience. Um, and um, so the first year I did it, uh, 
and uh, I wanted to go more. So I, in the end, I ended up at every five minutes with my watch doing the lessons every five minutes. You know, even if it said do it twice a day, I did every five minutes. And uh, because I needed to get to high levels of peace and serenity. And I realized it was offering a protection against the world and my own thinking. Just to have that devotion, you know, to say my thoughts are meaningless every five minutes throughout the day actually provides a tremendous amount of protection against my own insanity and against picking up thoughts from the world. And in fact, it will dissolve my own ego and the world at an accelerated rate. So, you know, going from tw uh, once, twice a day to once an hour, to every 20 minutes, to every 10 minutes, to every five minutes, there's enormous spiritual growth. Uh, so year after year, I was getting, you know, more into bliss states and peace. And uh, it was a horrific idea to actually go back and stop doing it because I knew the horror and uh, the horror of the world would, and the horror of my own thinking would come back. So every year I did it, I got to a more advanced level. And after, you know, actually all my illnesses cleared within three to five years. And actually after the sixth year, I was sort of drawn to other spiritual practices. I'm still very intense right throughout the day with spiritual practices. But yeah, I would recommend doing it every year unless you until you're given a practice which is just even more intense than the course um and i think after several years you will be given something which is even more super intense um and um yeah i i recommend it it's like doing the it's like doing step tens you know if you if you're if you do step tens in a 12 step program you you're told uh, the maintenance steps of the rest of your life you don't like complete the 12 steps and go all right i'm back to eating donuts and uh, I'm going to stop my spiritual work and listen to my ego. You know that's going to be murder. You know, your own murder. <laughs> Back to hell uh, it's going to be. So um, the same with the Course of Miracles. You know, you get to sublime bliss states. You feel protected, a shield of serenity. And then you stop. You, if you stop doing it, you know, the madness will come back. So you wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I think you should get at least several years, and if you get to super advanced levels, so you get to something you led to something more advanced. That that's great. So my yeah, my strong suggestion is to do it. I mean, you don't have to. If after a year you want to eat donuts, fine, fine by me. <laughs> you can do what you like, <laughs> but uh, for spiritual growth, I I think it's it's fantastic. Again um it's a shield you don't know how it works i mean it's obvious how it works it's dissolving the ego and it's dissolving the attachment to the world simultaneously and that dedication to do it every 10 minutes to do it every five minutes actually chops up the ego if you're in your head for, for 10 minutes or one hour non-stop thinking negatively it's horrific if you have to stop your negative thinking every five minutes, it's gonna, you know, you, you're gonna be much, much happier. Uh, but your ego doesn't want to do it. Your ego wants to watch TV and eat donuts. So, um, um, you know, that's that's what your ego wants to do. So, I mean, so every person can do what they want. But if you want spiritual growth, it's usually doing what your ego doesn't want to do, in my experience. Um, all right, so let's click stop there. Stop.